the rate give the rate at which the investment in an art in in art appreciates depend upon the value of the piece of art so what we are saying is this sentence means the rate at which so let's say p is the value or the price i can say dp by dt the rate at which the price or the value is increasing is proportional or is dependent on this is the sign of proportion to the value of p the price more the price more the rate of change okay so this implies whenever you have proportionality to 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 change the proportionality sign to equal to sign you have to put a constant okay i'll give an example so dp by dt is equal to ip i is a constant okay so yeah let me give an example suppose you take number of a very simple uh, trivial examples a number of pins and the cost and the cost okay so yeah suppose this is x and this is y say one pin costs say three dollars two pins would cost six dollars three would cost nine and so on so we, here we can say the cost y is proportional to x the cost is proportional to x that means y is equal to kx so here you can understand this k is the gradient basically so y you can understand is how many x so that is 3x okay, so this is a simple idea so when two things are proportional you can say the rate at which the y is dependent on the number of x so y is proportional to x so y is equal to kx and you can understand y is equal to 3x so that's the same thing so dp by dt is proportional to p so dp by dt is equal to it i is a constant so i can say now uh, i i not t i p i this is i p so i want to bring the p's and dp together so i can say well dividing both sides by p i can say dp by p is equal to i dt so this implies i can say integration of 1 over p dp 1 over p dp is equal to i times integration of dt so this implies natural log of p is equal to i t plus c now natural log has a base of e so writing this in terms of p so i can say p is equal to e to the power i t plus c okay now using the rules of indices i can say p is equal to e to the power i t times e to the power c now e to the power c is e is a constant and c is also constant so i'm going to replace this by p sub naught so this now it makes more sense now so p is equal to p sub naught or p zero times e to the power i t now this is an equation which can be used or model for any types of any type of growth or decay so this can model any types of growth or decay in real life suppose if something is continuously increasing or decreasing you can use this formula where e e is the initial amount it is the initial amount it can be the price it can be the number of bacteria it is the number of viruses or the the grams of radioactivity i i is the rate of interest as a decimal so that's the rate of rate of increase or decrease or rate of interest as a decimal i will explain that later as a decimal and t is the time so 
let's use this data I will have to pause this I'll want to come back I want to use this space okay so now using this formula let's solve this equation so what we are saying is let me rewrite P is equal to P sub naught times e to the power i t so what can we do now okay so when so you can say when time is zero when time is zero p is 12500 that's one information that we have and when t is five so after five years the price became 14300 so we want to find the rate at which it is increasing okay so yeah we want to find the annual rate it is not continuously increasing uh, it is increasing at an annual rate okay so yeah we can say 12500 is equal to p sub naught times e to the power 0 now e to the power 0 is 1 so this implies p sub naught is 12,500. So this is what I said. P sub naught is the initial amount. Okay, so now we can say P is equal to 12,500 times e to the power i t. Okay, so now the question is when t is phi and P is 14,500, what is i? So let's put this in this equation. So this implies you can say 14,300 is equal to 12,500 times e to the power i times phi. Basically, we want to find the rate at which it is increasing. So now dividing by bo both sides by 12,500, I can say 14,300 divided by 12,500 is equal to e to the power 5i. Okay, so let me finish it off here. Okay, so here can I say, I'm taking natural log of both sides. So I can say natural log, okay, so natural log of 14,300 divided by 12,500 is equal to natural log of e to the power 5i. So this implies I can say natural log of 14,300 divided by 12,500. Using the log rule, I can say this is 5i times natural log of e. And natural log of e has a base of e. So natural log of e is 1. So I'll do the working here. So this implies natural log of 14,300 divided by 12,500 is equal to 5i because r this is 1 you can use a calculator natural log of e would be 1 because the base of natural log of natural log is e so i can say i i'll write the working here so i is basically natural log of 14,300 divided by 12,500 divided by 5. So let me get my calculator out. So this is oops I want to see the question. Uh, yeah hopefully it will work yeah. So go to your run menu menu run natural log of bracket 14,300 divided by 12,500 and then you can divide by 5 that will give you 0 0.0269 so i i is 0 0.0269 and this as a percent this is as a decimal so this is rounding into 1 dp so this is 2.7% so the artwork is increasing at the rate of 2.7% per annum. Every year it is increasing by 2.7%.